Hi, we are together with Beverly Dilly. Did I say that right this time? And she's the author of this amazing book, Come Fly With Me, Michael Bublé's Rise to Stardom. Thank you, first of all, for coming all the way from Vancouver. Well, thank you for having me. And thank you also for bringing the book. Um, I would like to ask about the book, first of all, and, and yourself. Uh, can you introduce uh, yourself to us? Yes, you are the manager of Michael Bublé. Actually, you were the one who recognized, who yes. discovered him. Yes, Am well, I right? I'm not his manager now, but I discovered him, and I was his manager for 10 years before I turned him over to another manager with a, a larger company. Did you feel like you were giving your child away because Very you discovered so. him when he was, what, 18? 18. So what is this book about? Uh, it says it's a rise to stardom, right? What made you write this book now? Well, first of all, I always wanted to write a book because I've had a very interesting life. And everything that I did always segued into another happening or event, so to speak. And then when I met Michael, that was a very large event and the, our time together. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So um, how did you meet Michael Bublé? That's the interesting story, right? That's how it starts, I'm sure, this book. How did you meet him? I met him, I had organized a talent contest, which I had been doing for quite a while, and he won this contest, and it was at a club. And he won the contest, but then what I noticed afterwards that he was, what, how old he was, and he was underage, and so I went over to him and I said, Michael, I have some good news and some bad news. And the good news is you won the contest, and the bad news is I have to disqualify you because you're too young. And of course he was very upset. And I was upset too to think that I hadn't noticed that. But you did not give up on him. Now he's a Grammy Award winner. He didn't win that contest, but he's a worldwide known, globally known, popular, and also one of my favorite singers in the world. Um, why, what made you not give up on him? Well, I felt that he was exceptionally talented, not only his voice, but the reaction of the audience. He just had such charisma, which he has now. I mean, that is his thing. And I was coordinating uh, community entertainment at our fair, our summer fair. And one of the contests I had was for teenagers, 13 to 21. So I called, um, he was out on, the, on his fishing boat with his father, and I called and spoke with his mom and said, I think he should enter this contest. And so they immediately brought him in, and he entered a contest, and um, he won at our fair. It was like an auditorium, about 2,000 people, and everybody just loved him. And so after that, the contest, the prize, for that particular contest was a trip to Memphis. And every year, I used to take the winner to Memphis, Tennessee, which was a great trip. And so we went to Memphis, and um, he didn't win there. But in fact, he was very disappointed. But when we were on the airplane coming home, he said to me, would you be my manager? He said, because I want to do this. This is going to be my life. And I said, Michael, why do you want a manager? And he said, oh, no, I'm going to do this. And he said, and, and I liked it, he said, because you're always there, but you don't act like a parent. Mm -hmm. You're very professional, and people take you seriously. Nice. And I said, well, let's just see how it goes. So to make a long story short, we came back to Vancouver. He was on several shows because he had won this Vancouver contest. And then we made a CD for him, and that was all within a year. And at this particular CD release party, his independent one, he said to me, he literally pinned me against the wall and said, now will you be my manager? And I said, okay. And we started from there. And how long did this relationship last? Well, uh, 10 years we, we were at it from um, when he won the contest, which is 1995, and we came back from L.A. in 2003. Was it a difficult decision to come to terms with this uh, wonderful relationship? Uh, yes, but I, we always knew that I had to do that because I was never even a manager to anyone before. It was just our relationship was special, and, and we'd been through so many um, highs and lows and the merry ground and the roller coaster on our trip that, uh, yeah, it was difficult. So you were never a manager to any other celebrities? No. Just him? Mm, how about the new ones, the uprising ones? Would you be interested in the newcomers, the new uh, potential celebrities? Well, you know, not really because I'm kind of retired now and um, also it's a, it's a different than it was even there as you can imagine eight ten years ago everything was different and now everything is done online and um, there's so many things that artists can do on their own to begin with mm. and I wouldn't want to go that same route again it was an experience 
and it was stressful. It's a once in a lifetime. But, and it was wonderful. Tool. So yeah, it's a one-time thing. And what is like? This is my last question. I love the title "Come Fly with Me," which reminds me of his songs too. What is your favorite song among all of his songs? Well, you know, there are so many um, that we recorded on his first CD, uh, uh, Moon Dance, and so many that, um, but there was one particular song that he recorded that's not even out anywhere. Uh, oh, is Lady, that right? Lady in Red. And I have that uh, CD that we recorded in David Foster's studio, and that definitely is my favorite song. But I mean, I can't even list them. As far as I'm concerned, anything Michael sings. Is beautiful. It's beautiful. And tonight he's performing. And you're the lady in red tonight, <laughs> to, to today. Um, any messages that you would like to give? Any last messages? And especially this book about well, the book? Well, I would just like to say yes, that it, please. it really is, even though I wrote it, I will say that it is a great book. And everyone that has read it really loved it because it's not like other manager artist relationships. It's very special. And I think that's what the message is. It sounds interesting, and I'll read that, it in a heartbeat. Yes, and he stayed with me, and I stayed with him, and I think that was the that's that's the substance of the book. Did he read a book? Yes, I sent him the manuscript. He, he read liked, the book, and he liked. He told me that he loved the book. Ah, wonderful! Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. It's my pleasure as well.